He wants to go knight h7, that's his idea. Uh, it doesn't mate me. And he gets a knight to f6, which is all very well. But uh, he seems to have left the rest of his army back in the box. Um, so, rather against the run of form, I might pick up a wood in this game. Um, you know, I've got to be very careful. He's, he's no, there's no doubt he's going to play rook c7 here. And continue bringing the remainder of his army into the attack. But uh, I might actually attempt a little attack of my own. Because, you know, if this was a normal game, I'd probably play rook c8 and something really boring. But I'm because this is hack attack, I'm going to try and play knight g3 check. And h takes g3 and rook h8 mate. Because why be material up and swap off to a winning ending when you can be flash and give away all of your pieces? So that's what I'm going to do. And now does he have a defence to rook h8 check? Well, he's going to... Yeah, he was always going to do that, I suppose. Knight h5 check is a bit of a spoil sport blockading my um, attack down the h line. But, okay, I keep an extra piece on the board. And after that excitement, I think that's enough for the moment. I will offer the exchange of queens. And uh, I'm very happy for him to decline that, of course. I'll probably just go h4, h3, or rook c8, or whatever. But I am a piece and a pawn up here. And uh, just want to make sure I win this game. So it's just chatting, uh, typing something into the chat there was rather unnecessary. Uh, oh, I can go rook c, and if he takes, I can recapture the rook because of a little back rank problem for my opponent. Always useful to have this pawn on g3 for that purpose. My opponent's going to go f5 and then e6 because that's the only counterplay that he's really got left here. And for some reason, I'm struggling to come up with a plan even against that. Uh, so, I'm just going to put my rook on f8 to defend it, defend there. And there, there we see the e6 move, but now I can just bring my king across. And now just keep on taking everything off, and uh, he's let his rook go as well. Well... Having finally won a game, I'll offer him one last game. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to equalise up this matchup, but um, it's possible that I can uh, at least bring the score to the realms of respectability. Uh, okay, we'll see. We'll see uh, the same opening as my last white game, this A3 Grand Prix attack. And I'm going to try not to play it as horrendously badly this time round. Let's see how that goes. Going to again play this B4 pawn sacrifice. And then just castle and play it kind of sensibly, I suppose. But now I've got an open B line, so my opening is a big success. Um, okay, time to think of some aggressive things to do. F5 is an aggressive thing to do, let's do that. That was simple. Um, that's basically the all you need guide to the Grand Prix attack. Uh, what am I supposed to do in this position? Oh, f5. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do in this position. Um, that's that's kind of why it's a cool opening to play. Uh, I can't remember why I ever lose with it now. Uh, oh. Something to do with the centre or positional things or, or something. I don't know. But for the moment, we're going to be ignoring those kind of considerations and getting on with a good old hack attack. Uh, I am slightly confused here as I'm trying to calculate a variation, which is something I try not to do too much of in these um, in these hack attack broadcasts. I'm trying to calculate 
knight ta uh, bishop takes e4 knight g5 because it kind of looked like a lot of fun and uh, I was really hoping that I'd be able to play it the point is that if queen takes g5 though I have knight d6 uh, I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work um, but it looks like a lot of fun to me and uh, considering I can't equalize this uh, this series of games having a lot of fun is what I'm after right now he obviously thought it was dangerous because he's not taken it off but now now I should be able to do something here not entirely certain what maybe just develop some pieces but I was kinda of hoping for something more uh, impressive than that but I'm gonna take away take away his strong bishop a strong knight sorry on um, on d4 and now I'm going to stop him casting with bishop b5 check and now develop and I have a plan of going bishop d2 to a5 I kind of hope my opponent's not watching this otherwise he'll know what my plan is but I suspect that he has an inkling um, but I also have ideas of knight g5 here. So to be honest, his position looks pretty horrendous right now. Uh, but I need to be careful. It's easily possible to throw this game away from this position. Is e5 a better way of doing this? It may well be. Let me flick in e5. And if he takes, the knight takes. And if his knight moves away, then I've got bishop g5. But I really am looking to bring my bishop to a5 to give a devastating check to his king. But I just wanted to put this knight on e5 first. Uh, I've got only a minute and nine seconds against a minute 20. So I do need to keep uh, more than half an eye on the clock here. He attacks my knight. So bishop there. And I've got knight c6 check threats. So I think he has to move his queen again. Or maybe play king c8. But king c8 I must have a strong discovered knight move so I don't really see where he's going back uh, this is definitely completely winning for me the only question is the time and uh, whether or not uh, I blunder it all away the only way that I can get mated is if he threatens g2 so I'll keep an eye out for that uh, but my opponent's also dropping massively behind on the clock here so you know I'm starting to semi relax a little bit and uh, hopefully I can only lose this match 3.5 to 2.5. And, and he has gone king c8. But I was pretty certain that I had a discovered attack here. I could play knight c4. That looks pretty strong. Or knight takes g6. That's just grabbing material. What about knight c6 though? That looks like the best of a, of a pretty decent set of moves. Because I'm picking up the queen. And I've got bishop a6 check ideas. I have a whole set of different possibilities. Um, okay, there isn't really a move that doesn't win in this position, which is my, and my opponent was kind of recognised that, and he resigned. Okay, so well, well played to my opponent there.